I'm working on a website for my video production company and part of the website's going to feature a portfolio section. I figured that companies out in Los Angeles would have some of the best websites so I clicked on some random company out there and sure enough I found their portfolio section whenever I clicked on one of the images this pop-up showed up which was cool but there wasn't even a way to play the video which I thought was super lame. I clicked on another website from LA and clicked on their portfolio section and this is better but it takes you to like a dedicated portfolio page and to me it seems like you'd want to stay on the home page and see the video from the home page. So we're going to make that happen on my site. There's two ways you can do this. One's included in Bricks and the other easier way uses a plugin from Bricks Extras. So we're going to view this on the front end. I've only put a thumbnail on one of these images since that doesn't really matter for this tutorial. Here's the built-in way on bricks. You click it, this pop-up comes up, you can click play, and whenever you want out of this, you just click off the page. And the one for bricks extras is over here, you click on it, pop-up shows up, then you can either click the X or you can click off the page. First we'll make the version where you can do everything inside of bricks. To get started, go to your templates. We're going to make a new template. I'm just going to call this video pop-up test. Go down to template type, we're going to make this a pop-up, and we're going to create the template. And then we will go edit the template. We will click the plus button for a new section, and inside of the container we'll go ahead and add a video element. We'll go to the YouTube page and we'll copy the video ID and then go back into bricks and paste the YouTube ID in the YouTube video ID section. I'm going to leave the controls and show info enabled. I'm going to click save and then we click on settings, template settings, pop up. We'll scroll down a little bit and we'll click on add interaction. For the trigger I'm going to say click. The action will be show element. The target will be pop up. And the pop-up will be the template we just made, which was video pop-up test. And then we'll click on conditions. We will add a condition. And this is where we decide which page it's going to go on. It's going to go on an individual page instead of the entire website. And then we select which page it goes on. And in this instance, we're going to have it go on the portfolio page. Then we'll click save. And we'll go back to our portfolio. That pop-up was for a time-lapse, so we'll go ahead and click on this time-lapse section. And we'll make sure that this uh, interactions is highlighted, which it should be. Click on the plus button to add. For a trigger, I'm going to say click. The action will be show element. The target is going to be pop-up. The pop-up will be the pop-up we just made, which in this case is video pop-up test. And then we we'll click on save. And we'll view this on the front end. Now whenever we click on the image, we have our video that's playing. To get out of it, you just click off the page. Now that was a whole lot of steps and you have to make a whole bunch of templates. If you have bricks extras, there's a quicker way to do this. So back to the builder. And in this case, we'll make a video pop-up for this About Us video using a modal in bricks extras. So I made sure that the featured image is selected and then we click on modal and we got this little pop-up showing up. Now we need to put a video inside of this. So we'll click on the modal and I'm going to go to the elements and type in video. And now we see the video window. I'll click on the video icon and I'll go ahead and close this interaction section. Then we need to get the YouTube video ID. So back to YouTube, I'll copy the ID and paste it in the ID section. Then we go back and click on modal. We're going to add a trigger. I'm going to name this trigger modal row two column one. And the trigger type will be on click element. Now we have to give the element we're going to click on a class. So we're going to close this modal first. So by scrolling to the top, it says hide and builder. We're going to click on the element we want the modal to pop up on. We'll go up to the class window on the top and we will give it a name. In this case, I'm calling it portfolio-r2c1 for row two, column one. That way, in case I want to add more columns in the future, the naming somewhat makes sense. Click save and then go back to the modal icon. 
We'll select the trigger that we made. For the element selector, we will paste in the class name. Finally, we click save and we can go back to the front end. Now, whenever we click on the background image, the middle pops up and it'll play. And you can either click the X button or just off the page. If you want the pop-up to be bigger, go back to the builder, make sure the modal selected. And for content width, we'll give it a value of 100 SVH. We'll click save. And when we check out the front end, when we click on that icon again, we've got a bigger pop-up or modal. So if you're gonna be making a lot of these pop-ups, it's probably worthwhile to get bricks extras. So you don't have to keep making a bunch of templates. I'm not sure what the price will be in the future, but right now for the lifetime deal, it runs about 200 bucks. I also didn't make this page. I used a template from Bricks Awesome. Uh, this thing runs, it's like $299 minus a 15% discount at the moment. This was under wireframes and it was in the portfolio section. It was portfolio three. I just modified it so it'd have an extra row to it. If this video helped you out, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.